Uh, a lot of people are asking me, the new paid deal, does he get the retain? Like, does it say he doesn't get the retain, but does he? There is a clear sense in the question that he must not, but how did I know that without it telling me? Yeah, right. offered a new paid deal. Okay, so number one, it's like, it's a new thing. Like, the rules are off, and now I'm setting a new thing. Do you want to suggest another reason, Yeah, Ashley? because if there's 200, it automatically be more. Correct. If if for 10%. this, right, there's 8% plus 200, if there was 10% and the existing 200, it's not even a question. It's like, is 8 bigger or 10 bigger? But that's not the question. The point is, it's a riskier deal, isn't it? The new deal, it's riskier. If he sells more, he stands to gain more. But he doesn't have that safety blanket of the retainer anymore. He has a bad month, then he's not getting any income, right? So that is why there's a comparison. That's how we use the language of the question to be able to tell, even though it doesn't spell out explicitly, he doesn't get a retainer. You can deduce that he doesn't get a retainer. All right, which is just about right for. Oh, please. No, I didn't start. Okay. Um, let's have a look. So, someone want to suggest to me some answers? What's his uh, What's his annual salary? Thirty thousand nine hundred. Thirty-three nine zero four. Okay, are we happy with that? Yep. And how did how did that number arrive? Where did you get it from? Okay, good. Just this fifty-two times will give you that number. Okay. His hourly rate. His hourly rate. What did you get for that? Seventeen point one six. Seventeen point one six. If I recall, there was some rounding as well, right? Now, before we get to the rounding, where does this number arise from? Like, what calculation do you do to get there? Good. You start from the same thing, this weekly rate. But you're dividing instead of multiplying because you want to think about a smaller time unit, not a bigger one. What's the actual number of trailing off you? 17.157? Yeah. So that's all you need to know, right? Seven's going to go up. It's clearly closer to 16 cents than 15, okay? And the, the default is you should be rounded to the nearest. Okay, okay, now. Mimo's mother, what do we think of her calculation? Okay, she's wrong, right? Now, before we get to why she's wrong, um, how did you know that she was wrong? Because it says explain using calculations. Yeah, Eliana. Uh, so the annual salary is divided by 50 No, sorry, 12. Yep, okay, good, good. So you take this, which is the entire year, right? And because you want to go to monthly, you divide by 12. But so why is that? I, I don't get why that's yeah. different to... Okay, this is a really, really good question. So, what has she actually done? Like, how did she, this is the question I want to ask now, how did she arrive at 2,600? It's not a random number. Where did it come from? That's she that times the... Times the that one. Yeah, okay, so she's taken this amount. You multiply that by four, you get 2,608, okay? Now, multiplying by four is not an unusual thing to do because there are about four weeks in a month, right? But, um, not exactly. but there aren't exactly four weeks a month. And in fact, every month is a different length. So if you want to do its like number of weeks, you can't really do that. There's no regular number of weeks per month. So that's why you've got to go all the way up to year. There's always going to be 52 weeks in a year. And then you have to come back to month by dividing by 12, right? Um, you will find that, in fact, if we wanted to go from this directly to monthly pay, instead of multiplying by four, we're going to be multiplying by 52 on 12. Now you can kind of see the comparison now, can't you, right? 52 on 12, what would it be if we multiplied by 4? That would be 48 on 12, right? So you're missing those few weeks. That's why I think, if I recall, her calculation is less than. You get paid a bit less than. Because we have more than 4 weeks in every month, usually. Okay. Even last month. So, uh, important by the way, um, I'm going to just come back to this word in a minute. When it says explain using calculations, what I'm expecting that you have is you've calculated what the actual monthly pay is by doing this division, and then you say, well, there's a discrepancy of, what was the discrepancy? Like, uh, yeah, like what was the actual amount? Okay, so she's off by a couple hundred bucks. That's a fair margin. Okay, now for part B, this time, rather than just get to the answers, I'd love some working. So what would someone suggest as their first line? What did they actually put down to argue for? one or the other. Okay. Um, I put in brackets 8% times 9,000 and then out of the brackets put plus 200. Okay, so let's just pause for a minute. This is perfect and the brackets help us understand there's two different pieces here, not to be confused. What are the two pieces? 
commission here and retain it there. Good, okay? I'm going to add one piece of information before this because I'm about to do a new equation as well. Uh, what I'm calculating here is the original scheme, like what he's currently got, right? So I'm going to call this old pay. Right, because that's, the, that's what it used to be. What is this number? What is it? 920. Now at this point, hopefully your spider sense is tingling, and you can actually already see that the new situation is going to be a dud, right? Can you see it? Because yeah. 10% is an easy number to work out. 10% with nothing else, 10% of 9,000 is just going to be... Yeah, so you're short, right? We do want to show that though, because it says give reasons for your answer. So I'm expecting that most of you would say something like this. You pay equals, you're going to do the commission, and then nothing else. But I want to be able to back up off my numbers. Hey, look, I'm not just making this up. It's better to stay with the old deal. Okay, make sense? Yeah. Now, just a quick question, just to extend, I'm not going to do it on the board, but what would have to change in order to make the new situation actually better than the old situation? Like, it's $20 difference right now. What would have to change for it to improve? Um, so, so the easy thing is, well, if you give me a twenty dollar retainer, that'd be fine. But that kind of ignores, like, you know, what kind of a person would say yes to this deal and no to this one? Like, what, what's a retainer about again? What's that about? Stability. It's about stability. It's about saying, look, there's going to be some bad months. Okay. Now, if I'm a person who, like, maybe, what is he? Does it say what he sells? It doesn't say, does it? Um, suppose I know what he's selling. Suppose it's like, like air conditioning units or something like that. And the weather's getting warmer and warmer, and I know I'm going to sell a lot more in the coming months, right? If I'm more confident in my sales, then I want a bigger percentage, right? Like I think everyone sees, if I have a huge number, like a million dollars or something like that, if those are the sales, this $200 is like nothing. It just it vanishes away. It's trivial. That's the way a mathematician would say it. So these kinds of things, we call them break-even points, right? It's like if he increases the amount that he uh, sells, rather, per week. At some point, they'll be exactly the same, like whichever scheme you're under. And then past that, it's better to have no return. Okay. 